ये तो बस शुरुआत है यू विल बी गेटिंग मेनी मोर इंड एक्सपीरियंसिस ऊबर टावर रिसर्च जी पी एम सी एम एक्स कॉन्फ्लुएंट इंट्यूट रूब्रिक एंड कंपनीज लाइक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एमेजॉन ऑल्सो एंड ऐसा नहीं है कि ये सब क्रैक करिए नहीं कुछ क्रैक करिए कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिली बट नहीं हो पाई क्रैक कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज ही नहीं मिली इवन आफ्टर हैविंग रिक्रूटर्स नंबर एंड क्या गलतियाँ मैंने करी क्या रेज्यूम में मिस्टेक्स क्या एक्चुअली में कम्युनिकेशन मिस्टेक्स एंड क्या इंटरव्यू मिस्टेक्स सब बताऊंगा हर एक इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस के अंदर कंटिन्यू विद इंट्यूट इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस नाउ दिस गॉन बी दिस लिटरली इज गॉन बी प्रिटी डिफरेंट देन अदर वंस आई विल टेल हाउ एंड वाई अगेन लिटरली डिफरेंट नाउ स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विद यूजली हाउ रिक्रूटर्स अप्रोच मी और हाउ आई अप्रोच टू दैम इज via referral so i just simply applied i just messaged people couple of folks on linkedin again if you are wondering that is referral the only choice no not at all uh for confluent i got it via recruiter for uber via referral for jpmc and mx via knocky.com so again every thing is luck from which platform you get it but here in this case it was a referral from a person and that's how i got a recruiter phone call just couple of things like about my experience and you know just my skills in general he was she wanted to know and that's how it got now she scheduled a phone screen round again phone screen is a eliminatory round if you are able to crack it you will go to the entire on site loop now the phone screen round was taken by the principal engineer now how i know he is a principal engineer you will see the same person took one more round of mine in actual on site so yeah that's how i got to know that he is a principal engineer because in the email itself it was written the name and the designation as well so uh, he asked one of the hard questions which already was available as intuit company tag problems again if you don't know the company tag problems just you can check out codeline.com link in description along with you can check out telegram or discord there we also post company specific interview question now although it was hard but still when i do any company i make sure okay i am checking its company tag question and the, yeah i had done that so it was easy because of it being easy it was done pretty early then he asked me many other stuff mostly about runnable callable again everything was a follow up of what i was speaking i started speaking about threads then he went ahead with you know asking me corresponding thread basics and then he went ahead with again the moment i am speaking anything like i say runnable okay what's runnable okay then i say callable okay what's callable so everything i speak he makes a follow up on top of it that's how the interview, entire interview goes and then uh, he went ahead with singleton classes how will you implement it again the same question has been asked three times so you know it's very important especially singleton class now um, then uh, he still had time he went ahead with java generics uh, streams and mostly about java basics because again my primary language which i will interview for and i have interviewed for is mostly java although i know c++ as well but i switched to java now why i did that you can check out on linkedin as well i post regularly there just to make sure that you guys know now again obviously uh, this was cleared then they scheduled a on site loop you will see how different this on site loop is okay i will first tell you that what happened see on the same day it happened first interview 11 to 12 right let's see let's see second interview 12 30 to 115 let's see third interview 130 to 2 see it's not even 45 minutes it's half an hour okay next 222230 so this is how you see that uh, you know all interviews with literally no gap this is how it is scheduled cool let's come off uh, first interview now this something different how they name it as they named it as a craft demo presentation now when i was looking for intro experience on lead code discuss i realized that people are given some assignment and they have to do that in my case it was not the case in my case i was not given any assignment at all i was just given a problem at that specific moment itself now the another strange thing was there were six people in the meet and the speciality about those six people are they were entirely from the same team of which i am going to join and all of these six people are the one who will take my next set of rounds as well so this is how you will see that this is all this people are actually pretty important 
and again from manager to principal engineer to senior software engineer like everyone everyone six people were there everyone every category of you know level was there now they asked me a simple lld problem uh you know stock prices or currency conversion again they started off with the stock prices calculation but they integrated the currency conversion now currency conversion is on the question which uber also had asked me in the phone screen now so and again this is a pretty common question and again coinbase also asked me like coinbase didn't ask me but it, it was very standard question for coinbase as well so you know that this is how important question this is they asked me now obviously i did it bfs but it is not a normal kind of you know just bfs problem no it needs to be specifically lld you need to have interfaces implement those have some specific design patterns which you can incorporate in that if you don't know that check out the link in description at codevine.com we also have the lld syllabus video is also coming soon so make sure that you know at least all these things now again uh, it went pretty long the entire things again everything you do there was a follow up you you did that why you did that why everything so yeah that's pretty good now again um as i mentioned that everything had a follow up like literally everything now obviously as one of the follow ups he asked me to improvise it he asked me to like let me know the apis what will be the apis for that uh what api format will be there then he asked me that okay uh, make it fast which means he wanted me to go into multi threading okay i just said okay this is how i can do or make it correspondingly fast again he was putting up things on top of it like that's how the beauty of that question was now again uh when this portion was done then they kind of moved towards the same problem but as a hld form then said okay um how will you make sure that let's say if multiple people are calling it again obviously when they say that multiple people are calling your service then how will you maintain availability how will you maintain consistency then he went ahead in that okay how will you design this corresponding as a microservice architecture that you can cater as many responses as possible and again i mentioned about caching i mentioned about different uh, you know services handling load balancing as i was mentioning anything he was asking a follow up uh, i mentioned about cash i mentioned about consistent hashing he asked me okay what is cash how it works which cash you will use will you use in memory cash or external cash uh, will you use cash inside the server or not or maybe outside again everything was whatever i was speaking a follow up of that as simple as that so yeah this is exactly what he asked and again this round got over it was around 1 hour but it extended to 1 hour 10 minutes uh you will see why but yeah this extended got extended a bit but yeah it was over mostly three people were asking questions in that uh the remaining three were more of uh, just observing now next round cool that you do uh 150 again <laughs> the only reason i gave time here is because uh you know how quickly it got finished um now in this again there were two interviewers the same from the previous round there were two interviewers and one interviewer asked entirely about you know apache spark from the fundamentals transformation anything whatsoever apache spark again if you have studied past like spark or maybe batch processing you must be knowing about you know fundamentals of workers um all this stuff and uh, you know how will you make sure that if you have skew like skewing then how will you re resolve it all that stuff he literally asked like entire architecture of spark he asked me and then he also moved to us java again i don't know why but people asking the kind of questions okay java generics uh java basics and stuff which i would know the other interviewer uh he more like he actually moved in depth on the question hld question which he was asking previously in the, in the previous round he followed up, followed up with more inside cash okay exactly how you will use cash uh wait okay like write through cash read through um uh, multiple things what exactly i was speaking follow up of that he but went ahead deep on to that specific actually problem itself from the last round now again um nothing was you know making a diagram nothing of that sort just verbal everything verbal just tell okay what is exactly how it will happen how where you will cache it where you will make sure what db you will use again everything was verbal not empty like not writing much although i make sure that i write things whenever i am listening because you have tendency to forget that is i write it but he was not asking me to write it technically or show me which other interviews do now 
uh, I, again, uh, this 132, again, this one interviewer, this is the same interviewer, which is the principal engineer who gave, who took my uh, phone screen down. Again, um, he firstly asked me what all things other interviewer, uh, other in in interviewers asked me in the all the rounds, which I had, uh, you know, the one which I had previously in there, there were two interviews. So what all they asked me, he just simply asked that first and what responses I gave, he also asked that. And uh, then he went ahead more on the follow of the same HLD problem, which was discussed in the first round. Um, and then again, after the follow ups, it was more around APIs and, you know, responses, um, around that so he went more into the http response codes that uh, in this scenario what will you use in this what will you use okay in this with this what will you return all that stuff he was asking now again uh he was pretty good with it so he ended a bit you know early when i say early in 25 minutes or something he ended it because yeah he was pretty sorted with whatever he wanted to ask the last round was the hm round as a hiring manager now with the hiring manager he came up and asked the questions. Now, obviously, uh, he went ahead with my work, what exactly I have done in the firm, um, you know, what exactly I did in the Goldman and uh, what all stuff I had worked on, just explain that and show your impact in that. That's what he was looking for. So yeah, I just told about my work, what, what exactly was the most challenging project which I did, which is converting existing monolithic service to a new microservice architecture. I just told that. And then he asked a couple of behavioral questions you know, more around my work itself and more around how I handled challenges and stuff. But, 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 <laughs> this after that was not enough. He actually went ahead with the HLD problem as well. Now, I tried a lot to remember that problem, but I could not. Because again, there was a lot of stuff um, which was happening. And like, again, recently, if you, if you don't know, we also made a HLD entire syllabus. I could not remember it exactly, but it was more of my niche my niche was more of you know uh, banking and uh, you know linking with corresponding um trading or um exchanging things that's what it was mostly of i forgot exactly what it was i tried to remember a lot but i, I didn't remember so yeah that's one thing which i could not answer but still like i could not answer to you guys but still it was not that hard and he was also not, not looking for any you know um uh, like diagrams and stuff more of verbal because there was no time as such. We had around 10 minutes. He just he wanted to discuss the entire chili problem. And yeah, uh, that's all. It got finished. And again, the process was pretty fast. The next day itself, uh, the tutor called and uh, told that, uh, you know, it's pretty good. And uh, and again, they didn't even ask you what exactly what you want. I mean, they didn't ask me. They just shared the operator like, directly without even asking and just told that uh, please accept it. Uh, that's, that's again, like, there, like, there was no conversation about okay, kitna chahiye, kitna nahi, all, all, all that stuff. No, uh, okay, they just literally shared the offer letter with numbers, but yeah, uh, when had a call back and then you know, discussion on gomp and stuff, uh, everything, but yeah, ultimately, uh, yeah, we didn't join it, but still, it was pretty great. Uh, the process was pretty great, and yeah, if you don't know, the work life balance is literally one of the best in Intuit. Again, uh, work also is good, but uh, yeah, the comp, they might not offer that much, but still, it's pretty good comp. So I hope you guys got it. If yes, then do check out the other uh, interview experiences, which you will find in description as well, along with in the end cards, along with on this channel itself. So yeah, do check out. It will help you a lot. Bye-bye. Take care. I hope you liked it.